Okay, remember that our key concept is to calculate the percent of a number you multiply by the percent uh, as a decimal. Um, I would suggest getting rid of any extra little spaces that you have down here. So as you can tell, I deleted them so that you can actually type what you need to type. Um, might need to do another one. Uh, so in order to find 92% of 85, there's two options. You're going to make sure that you know that 92% is the same as 92 divided by 100, which equals point or zero and 92 one hundredths. 0.92. You will then do 85 multiplied by 0 0.92 on your calculator and you will get your answer. If you know what 0 0.92 is. If you don't know how to do that, then you're going to use your calculator and you're going to do 85 times 92 and you need to make it a percent. If you don't know how to make it a percent with your calculator, you need to ask the neighbor. You need to raise your hand and ask me. You need to figure out a way to do it. Um, and that will be your solution. I'm not telling you your solution. You need to come back and figure out what the answer is eventually. Um, but this will give you the true answer. But the key is if you don't know that 0.92 is 92%, you're in trouble. So that's why I'm going to make my reflection the same thing. I know that I can move the decimal two places to the left to turn a percent into a decimal. The issue will be if it's 1% or 5% or it doesn't have two places to move. Um, but we will have a couple of examples like that that we can talk about when we get to that point. So make sure that you've got your answer and you finish filling this in. Um, yeah. Um, so now we're going to move down to number two. I'm going to make this a little bigger so that hopefully I can see it and you guys can see it a little better. Let's see. <clears throat> so here's this one. If you need to pause it to see it on your calculator or your computer, there it is. Hit pause. Um, here's the second one. And the reason why I did that is because it's giving me a whole lot of numbers now. We need to think about the fact that at some point, all of you have torn apart a, torn apart a box for recycling. So we need to figure out what these edges are. So I'm going to redraw this box, which I would suggest you do. Does your box have to look perfect? Nope. No, this is not art class. This is math class. You have to know that it's a box. Um, let me show you my art teacher stuff here. If you don't know how to make a box, start by making your rectangle. Then shoot out the same angle in three places. Then connect them with the straight line. That's how you do it. So now we need to think about what these ports are. This 14 inches, I think, is right here. This 4 inches is right here. But now I need to figure out what this is. And that could only be the 6. So we're going to have to do the volume equals 14 times 6 times 4. This is probably all going to disappear as soon as I start typing stuff in. So if you need to push pause, push pause. V equals 14 times 6 times 4. You're going to use your calculator and you're going to figure out what that answer is. And then you're going to type volume equals whatever that answer is. It says inches. It's three dimensional, so we need to make sure that we are making that little carrot cube signal. Um, so we will put our answer, and then we will put inches, shift six, three dimensional. 
because we have three of them, inches times inches times inches. That's called an exponent. We'll learn about that later if we haven't already. Uh, key concept, volume is the amount of space or a three-dimensional space something takes up. Again, I'm going to go down here and, and get rid of this extra spaces so that my pictures don't go everywhere. Um, the reflection, I know I multiply all the sides together to determine volume of a rectangular prism. Now, I'm specifying rectangular prism because that doesn't work on cylinders and uh, prisms that are, I guess that would be like a pyramid. Um, so I'm just making sure that you guys understand that doesn't work for everything, but it does work in this instance. Uh, you make sure that you have done your math and um, solved, whoa, solved wherever that inches is. I'm not sure what I just did there to make it smaller. Um, but hopefully you guys can see what that says.